Hi, I'm Praveen and welcome back to Exploring Me, where I explore my professional life in data analytics and sometimes dabble in what's going on with me personally. Okay, so I'm back. A lot has happened since I last posted. I've changed jobs a couple times, moved to Vancouver, renovated an apartment, and traveled a ton. So for those of you that have encouraged me along the way by either sending me a sweet message here online or telling me that you enjoy watching these videos when you see me in person, I really appreciate you. In this video coming back, I wanted to discuss a particular role that I experienced along the way. I mentioned I've changed jobs a couple times at this point, but in my last role, I actually switched industries and tried product management for a bit. I was a product manager at Lululemon. Product management in general seems to be a sort of trendy career going on right now. Both folks coming from various technical capacities as well as non-technical folks are sort of interested in switching into this field. In this video, I really wanted to focus on my experience as someone coming from a data analytics, data science type capacity, moving into product management. In this video, I'm going to discuss sort of the things that gravitated me towards that position, sort of the pros, if you will, and on the flip side, why I find myself not in that position currently, I've switched back into analytics since, so sort of the cons of product management to say. A product manager is responsible for defining the product vision, strategy, conducting market research, creating and maintaining the product roadmap, leading cross-functional teams, translating requirements into development tasks, prioritizing features, managing the product life cycle, and ultimately communicating with stakeholders to ensure the product's success and alignment with business goals. I'll start off by saying you don't necessarily need a specific education to get into product management. I myself was interested in the industry, so I took a course at BrainStation on product management to sort of get a better understanding of the focus of folks in product management, as well as pick up some tools that might be useful within the industry. I think because I was transitioning within the same company, I perhaps had a slightly different experience than you might going into the field, as I was offered quite a bit of mentorship in the role. Why I actually was interested in the first place kind of brings me to my first pro, if you will, is focusing on sort of stakeholder relations and communication. Within the data science realm or within the analytics technical capacity in general, I found myself really gravitating towards those times where I could have conversations with stakeholders. The piece that I enjoyed the most was when I was able to communicate out an analytic capacity that I had done or an analytics project that I had done or being able to walk through a dashboard that I had created for a team. I really found myself excited about those moments. Those were the things that energized me at work. So I wanted to kind of lean into more of that full time. And I think if that's what you find yourself most excited about in your analytics role, sort of communications and stakeholder relations is definitely something that I was able to do more as a product manager. The next major pro that I wasn't really necessarily aware of before going into the actual role itself is actually something from my sort of product manager mentor. Mo, if you're watching this, this is something that you said a lot is that being a product manager is sort of like being an entrepreneur. And I definitely saw that come through as I grew within the role. I think there's a lot more ownership when you're a product manager. You're sort of seeing the project from beginning to end, managing all the different people that work or have a touch point with that actual product, but ultimately both the success and even on the flip side, the failure of that product or project comes down to you. And I think having that uh, elevated ownership is definitely something that was exciting to me coming from, at that time, a senior analytics type capacity. I think that if you're looking to progress in your career, sometimes it feels like there's really only two paths as an analytics uh, or analyst or a data scientist. It feels like you can go into management or just continue to become more technical. So I feel that becoming a product manager was sort of a sidestep in, an, in a way kind of progression within that same sort of industry because I felt like I was taking on more responsibility being able to maybe not in an HR type of way manage people, but sort of manage the work people uh, were doing on the product that I was the owner of. So I think that that elevated sense of ownership of a project was definitely uh, something that was a positive for me being a product manager. The final pro I want to discuss sort of links into a kind of con and it's probably the reason I'm not a product manager today but I think it's this sense of being really focused on a specific piece of the sort of technical pipeline. I think when you are on solely an analytics team, you 
may or may not have product managers. And that's how it was for me. I was working on a team of all data scientists, all statisticians, all analysts. And it felt like at the time that we were doing all of those components. I was the product manager. I was the BA. I was also the scrum leader in a way for the various things that I was doing. And initially, this was actually really difficult for me to wrap my mind around when I moved into the product manager capacity, because what felt like initially just a tiny sliver of the work that I was doing as an analyst was now my entire job. And I would say those first couple of weeks, I was kind of at a loss, like, how do I fill my time with just this tiny bit of what I used to do? But as I sort of grew and started to understand more and more about being a product manager, I realized that having these sort of specialized roles within a team allows that team to do not only much more robust projects, but be able to manage multiple products at a time. And I think that having that really sort of narrow focus in a way is a, is a really big positive if those are the things that you enjoy. And I think for me, that revolved around stakeholder management, like I, I mentioned at the beginning, but also things like documentation, getting really clear understandings of what the use cases were going to be, actually being able to kind of uh, roll those things out in a more systematic way, I would say. I would say overall, and maybe if you work on a team that already has these various capacities, you already see this all sort of playing out, but it was definitely my first sort of experience being on projects or products that had all of these individual roles. So I did mention this last sort of pro was gonna bleed into the con. And I think for me, though it was great to have this focus, for me, it definitely created a lot of tension or frustration points, not with anyone on the team. The team, absolutely great. I'm so thankful to have been in a role where I was being able to be mentored into that product manager, manager capacity. But I think that for me, it was really difficult to let go of those technical components. I think when you are you are a product manager, your job is really to be able to communicate out what the need is from the stakeholders. But then the actual sort of how or the execution of that technical side is meant to be left up to the team. And for me, sometimes I would, I would struggle with the idea that oh, I could just sit down and code this or I could just sit down and, and create that new feature myself. Um, but of course, then I wouldn't be able to do all the other things that are on my to-do list. But I definitely hit these frustration points. I also think I had a really strong opinion coming from that very specific technical background about how things should be done. And I think when you're in a product manager capacity, you should really be trusting your team and allowing your team to have that independence to come up with the best solution, not only for the use case, but for them and how they want to sort of execute it. So I think that if you are still very interested in how the things are done, or you really have a strong opinion on that technical side, you might experience some of these frustration and frustration or difficulty points yourself. I would think that's what it really comes down to this crux. So if, if you're in that data science or data analytics capacity, thinking about product management, if the key thing that's most important to you right now is being able to focus on communication and you really want to be sort of the face of the projects, you really want to be the one kind of talking to all of the individuals, potentially use that as a sort of ladder up in your career, product management definitely has all of that. On the flip side, I think if you still want to have your hands in those technical components, you don't want to let go of the coding, you still want to be actually on the execution side of these things, product management might not be for you, at least just yet. I think in that case, you might want to explore different roles on the technical side. So for me, like I mentioned, I actually ended my road with product management at that time and have transitioned into an analytics manager capacity. So this is definitely something I hope to continue to talk about in the coming weeks. I hope you'll stick around and continue to support me here on this channel by subscribing. Hopefully I will see you once a week, continue to share my professional life. But until next time, thanks for watching.